Hey, hey guys, Brofist and welcome to another YouTube video of Umrin. Uh, today we're gonna discuss about Ember Silk Part 4, uh, which will cover the basic items of the that you uh, that you can make from Ember Silk Cloth and what uh, those means and why those are picked for this uh, today's tutorial and etc. Anyway, for those who don't know how to farm Ember Silk Cloth, make sure to check some here, uh, somewhere here. Actually, it will be I don't know, maybe like there or maybe here. The Ember Silk Part. Uh, one or two, the full playlist is there, just click on the link and you will see uh, in the Ember Silk part 1 and 2 how to farm Ember Silk, uh, the most efficient way how to farm Ember Silk cloth for the uh, World of 2 Draenor. Alright, so let's move on. Uh, today we're going to discuss Ember Silk cloth, what you can produce from that. So first item that we need to get familiar with is Ember Silk cloth, of course, we know, but Bolt of Ember Silk cloth is created by five Ember Silk clothes. So just remember, one bolt, five, uh, five clothes. You don't need to remember actually that, but just you know, have in mind that you can create that item from Ember Silk cloth. Out of that, you need two bolts and two Eternium threads to create one bracer. One bracer is that Silk Bracer. Uh, just mark that name. I will actually write that somewhere on the screen. But wh uh, where to find Ember uh, Eternium thread? I, I will show you now. So in Orgimar, that will be somewhere here. Is the guy tailoring supplies? You go here, and you can buy it for two seventy. Uh, also in Stormwind, uh, I think in Stormwind. Let's find Stormwind. There you go. In Stormwind, is somewhere here. There is a tailoring supplies as well. So make sure to uh, buy Ethereum threads. I have already bought a lot. So. Uh, if you want to uh, to transform your, uh, I mean, Ember Silk Cloth, uh, you can sell to to, uh, to auction house, right? But we're discussing here how to transform that Ember Silk Cloth to make a, a bit more gold for you, you know, because if you go to auction house and see uh, 70 silver per cloth, you'll be like, man, that's not much, right? But if you transform, for example, into bolts, you can create certain amount of profit just by making bolts. But people are not buying bolts that much. So what they're buying, they're buying either hypnotic dust because they need that to make bags, or they're buying uh, the bags uh, actually. Also, you can sell the embers of cloth they're buying, but it's not really the, the best price you can get for for, uh, for the embers of cloth. Anyway, that silk bracers is the bracer that we're gonna create from the embers of cloth. Why? Because. Uh, for two bolts and two Eternium threads, there is no other item that you can create. Or actually, it's maybe there is, but this is the the cheapest item and the and the item that creates the most hypnotic dust with disenchanting. You know, so you're getting out of. I mean, from my own testing, out of two thousand bracers created, uh, I have made two thousand nine hundred seventy four uh, dusts and one thousand and something uh, lesser uh, lesser celestial essence, but. The essences are not really of importance here because they're not even selling that much and they're, they don't have much price. Uh, I can I can show you really quickly how uh, why that's uh, why that's like that. So basically, uh, one bolt is five embers of cloth. For example, you buy the embers of cloth for seventy silvers, zero point seventy. Uh, it's equal equals one bolt multiplied by two. That is two bolts that we need for the bracer. Plus. Um, 2 multiplied by, this is 270 from uh, from Vendor, as we saw. So, one bracer costs you 12.4, and one bracer will give you 1.5 hypnotic dust. Divided that by 1.5 gives you 8.2 value. I mean, uh, 8.2, it's one hypnotic dust for you to create. So, you need to pay 8.2 uh, gold to create one hypnotic dust. As always, hypnotic dust on most of the servers goes... For 10 to 15 gold, so basically you have just made out of uh, uh, transforming that ember silk cloth certain amount of gold, or you can uh, or you can just buy and flip those items on auction house if you have the time to craft all those stuffs. It's up to you. So yeah, we get familiar with uh, dead silk bracers and how to make hypnotic dust out of dead silk bracer. However, for those who didn't understood how to make hypnotic dust out of the bracer. My lovely shaman here will tell you how. You take the disenchanting some, somewhere in the bars and right click disenchanting, left click on the bracer. Voila! We have just created one hypnotic dust. 
All right, let's make another one just for testing if it works. Uh, uh, actually, disenchanting once again. One laser uh, essence. All right, disenchanting once again. Hypnotic dust was created, and the last disenchant will give us hypnotic dust and laser essence. Uh, that's how we make it, guys. Why hypnotic dust is important? Because out of hypnotic dust, or uh, to be precise, 15 hypnotic dusts equal uh, and 15 bolts of ember silk cloth equals one ember silk bag. One ember silk bag goes from 200 to 350, sometimes even more, dependable on the server. But most of the time, uh, you will make profit by that. How much? Uh, and, and and everything we're gonna discuss in the next part that probably will come up tomorrow. Uh, that will cover the calculation part of this uh, spreadsheet here that you see that I've uh, I've introdu introduced you yesterday with the previous video. So uh, this is uh, will tell you how much profit and how much profit you will do from um, selling bracers, how much profit you're gonna make from selling dusts and those kind of stuff. So just keep in mind that uh, the next uh, tomorrow or the day after I'm gonna put another video of explaining how the whole calculation goes. For today, it is important to understand which are the items and what means bracers. Just n mark your uh, those names. That's all bracers, hypnotic dust, what they mean, how to create, stuff like that. So this is just the introduction to what items you're gonna need to make profit out of your embers who clothe. Uh, thank you guys for watching. You've been awesome. Brufist! And uh, until the next time, feel free to subscribe to the YouTube channel, clicking somewhere uh, there. And um, yeah, just be, be a cool bro, subscribe, like the video if you like what I do here, if you like the content. Uh, feel free to ask questions, I'm always answering your questions if it's something humanly answerable. Uh, and uh, I'll keep, uh, keep you updated with any news on my Twitter, which is Umren TV. so feel free to uh, follow my Twitter. Yeah, thank you guys for watching again, and see you in the next time. Brofist and Umrenov.